Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 117. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 112 to 120. Hey, this person wanted to see how to select a sample of names from a list of names. So here's our list of names. It's 209 names. I can quickly jump down to the bottom with my cursor right there, control down arrow. Control up arrow will get me to back to the top. Now I want to do a few things here. I first want to count, because this person wanted 10% of the sample size. So I want to count the number of names. Well, we can't use the count function. We have to use the count a function, count a. And as always, I have great notes up about up here about all these functions we're going to use in other videos that give more detail about all the things this function can do. But count on one of the things it does is count words. It actually counts non-blank cells. I'm going to click in this cell right here, Control Shift Down Arrow. Control Shift Down Arrow quickly highlights that current range. And then I'm going to hit the F4 to lock it. I didn't really need to lock it here because it's just counting. I'm never going to copy this anywhere. But that F4 then um, actually jumps the screen back up, and that's perfect. Guess what? I don't even have to type that last parentheses. I can just hit Enter, and it will know to put that in. If you click back up there, you can see it put it in. All right, now sample size, we're going to use the round up equals round up. And the number, oh, 209 times 10%. Uh, now, this is not the round. We always want it to round up. Um, so what we're going to do, inst instead of using the integer, the integer, if it was tw if this number came out to be 20.2, it would take 20. But I want to round up to whatever the next integer is, so we use the round up. Comma, and since we want to go to the integer, we've got to use 0. If we use minus 2, it would, it would go to the penny if you're using money. If you did um, to the... I'm sorry, that's completely wrong. 2 is to the penny. That's the second decimal, 10th uh, hundredth position. If we did minus 3, it would go to the uh, left of the decimal. So that would round to the nearest thousandth. But we don't want any of that. We just want 0, because that's how you get to the integer. And then Enter. So we got 21. So we have 21 as our sample size. By the way, I have uh, links up here, actually, that you always read at the top. There's a bunch of videos that show you elaborate details about all the different types of round functions. All right, uh, now we have our sample size. But we need to randomly select. And there's a, a bunch of ways to do it. But one quick, simple, easy way is just to use the RAND function. The RAND function generates a number between 0 and 1 with 15 digits. So it equals RAND tab, or uh, it's an argumentless function just like today or now. You don't need to put anything in there. It just generates a number. And then Control Enter. And I'm going to double click my fill handle and send it down. Double click. And it sends it all the way down, all 2,209 rows. Now, if we want to quickly sort these, we can just right click and sort. Sort A to Z. Now, in 2007, you can't right click sort A to Z, but there's that A to Z button on the toolbar. Or you might have to go to the data menu and sort. Sort. Expand selection. Well, we actually haven't finished this here yet. Um, yes, we want to expand. Actually, we're going to just going to click cancel. We'll finish our formula here. But let's just say you were doing your over here, and then that, that will work. Actually, that will not work. Boy, I made two. Uh, errors here. I must be asleep today. Um, what happened there, and this is good to know, uh, in earlier versions, I forget when it came in, 2002 or something, if you highlighted a portion of your table, uh, but not all of it, and you sorted, like going to data menu and then click the sort, it would just sort it. It would just sort it and not give you this warning. And what would happen is it would sort just what you selected, nothing else. And so people would wreck their data sets. This is really polite. It came in about 2002. Expand selection or continue with current selection. I would have to expand selection here to include everything here. So then I'd click sort. And sure enough, it did that one right. Really what I should have done is right click sort with only one cell highlighted. 
And then you, if your sample size is 21, you could count down 21, copy and paste. But watch this. Hey, let's do a formula here that will automatically uh, tell us the top, uh, the 21 that came to the top. So equals if open parentheses. And we're going to use the counter again. Counter. And watch this. We want this counter function as we drag down to expand. So if I click in this cell and control colon, it puts B19 to B19. I'm going to put a close parenthesis here and very carefully uh, click that first B19 and hit the F4 key, which means lock. That means as we copy this down, it'll expand. This one will be locked, but this one won't. So when we get down to this row, it'll be 2. This row, it'll be 3. Now, uh, what do we want to compare this running count to? It has to be less than or equal to our sample size. And that one needs to be locked. Uh, going down, I'll just use two of them because we're not going to copy it. That means locked in all directions. If that's true, then we want this name. Otherwise, we want blank. And blank is double quote, double quote, with nothing in between, close parentheses. Now I can Control Enter and double click and send this down. Double click and send this down. Now watch, if I come to here and hit F2, you could see how that blue range right there from this count if has expanded. So it's like it's a running count. And sure enough, when it finally, uh, this one is exactly equal to 21. And by the way, you could use your little trick if you highlight just part of a formula and hit the F9 key. You'll see that's 21. But that's dangerous, so Control Z. And then this one right here, highlight that F9. Oh, that one's 21, so that's why it put the value here. But when it got down to this next row, uh, 22 is not greater than or equal to, so that came out to be false. It didn't take this one. It took the true part of it. I'm going to click Escape. And so that is a nice, quick, easy way to get your names. Now, this uh, YouTuber was uh, sorting and sorting again. Anytime two names came to the top, he then deleted them. So what he was doing, this was a great idea. He highlighted the ones that came to the top and added a color, like yellow, from this paint bucket. Now, watch this. When you uh, sort again, right click Sort. Oh, we have a bunch of repeats. And what he, his requirement was that anytime the person can get sampled uh, two times in a year, but after that, forget it. They're not sampled anymore. So I'm going to um, use highlight that cell right there. Hold Control, highlight these two cells. Hold Control and highlight these two cells, because I want to um, paint these orange. That means they've been selected twice. By the way, what he would then do is copy all these names. This would be the second sample right down there. He'd copy them and paste them somewhere else. And then he would recolor all of these. I'm going to use my Control key. I've highlighted those, those, and all of those. Yellow. That means they've been selected once. And then he would go through this process. But watch this. If we were to delete these once he's copied them, I highlighted row 19, and then I'm holding Control, which always allows us to select non-contiguous areas, areas not next to each other. Highlight those and those. And just for illustration, because I'm running out of time, let's say that all of these were repeats too. I'm going to highlight, I've highlighted areas that are not next to each other, but I could right click a row header, a row header, and say Delete. Now, um, look up here. Because we've made this counter and this formula for sample size based on this 10%, that 20 is changed. And if you notice, this is the 20th person. So by building the counter, the uh, roundup, the rand, which we're sorting each time, and this formula totally update. So as he was deleting rows, this sample size updates and this current list updates, giving you exactly 10% of whatever the new count is of this list. All right, we'll see you next YouTube trick.